hey everyone so i hope that your preparation for phase 2 of rbi grade b is going in full swing so if the answer to this question is a yes then you can uh, stop this video at this moment of time if you already have enough confidence in your answer writing but if you are afraid of answer writing then guys this video is a must for you all do watch it till the end so guys what are the reasons for fear for having fear about any new thing let's understand the causes of fear with an example let's take my example only i don't know driving and this is guys a truth i literally don't know how to drive a car now if i take the car on the road what are, what is the first thing that you all suppose that is going to happen to me obviously i will meet an accident so guys what are the causes for which i met the accident first cause is that i literally did not know how to drive the car so not knowing the process is one cause but secondly even after knowing the process theoretically i may not have the confidence to drive it literally okay so first thing not knowing the process and second thing is not having enough confidence in writing the answer so here the main problem of yours comes so here guys i have seen many students first of all the students who haven't practiced enough the answer writing but there is another lot of students who have practiced many times but still they are not able to write good answers or fetch good marks for their answers so what are the two causes first could, could be that you might not know the correct way or the approach towards a question and second uh, cause could be that you don't have enough confidence to write a good answer so all of these questions are going to be tackled by me in this video so hey guys myself neha gupta i hope that those who are seeing me right now are already familiar with me i am the mentor of current affairs here at this platform so let's begin uh, the answers of both these questions so the first question the process of writing the answer so here there are two parts that you need to follow or you should pay attention to first part is how should you write the answer and second part is that how much should you write to get skillful at answer writing so first question should be answered by me towards the end of this video that how should you write better answer because here i have a list of 10 commandments for writing a good answer which i guess uh, my devoted students would follow and second how much you should write to get skillful at answer writing so this is something i'm going to answer here only because th it has its linkages towards the next question also so guys in a week at this moment you should select a day where you will uh, appear for all the three papers you are going to attempt all the three papers your fm esi and english in the manner in which the paper is given to you on the exam date okay in the morning shift shift you will attempt fm then take a lunch break then you will attempt esi and english so this would be the pattern in which you are going to appear for the exam in one day of your week and on a daily basis you should attempt one paper of esi fm or english either of these okay one paper one day and select one day where you are going to attempt all the three papers now this practice my friends is going to give you the confidence there is a very famous principle of unit <clears throat> sorry kepchego so he is a world record breaking athlete marathon runner he has attempted or achieved many records in his life there is a very basic principle that he follows for the confidence and that is practice practice with consistency he consistently uh, uh, practices on a daily basis and that gives him the confidence to stand on the track and run fearlessly on the track so guys this should be your strategy as well if you want to have the confidence so that confidence would only be generated once you start practicing on a daily basis you start training your mind in the exam like scenario okay so this is one way in which you can uh, increase your confidence that is repetition okay repetition gives you the power to have confidence and your subconscious mind is also trained about a certain thing once you repeat it because repetition uh makes the things enter your subconscious mind okay so that is one way second way to improve your answer writing at the same time increasing the confidence in answer writing is adopting an sop a standard operating procedure but is there any sop for answer writing as well yes guys this is something that might shock you at this moment but at the same time is going to amaze you once you listen to me first so here 
you have three parts of the uh, of any answer intro body and conclusion this is the basics and we all know about it so but can there be an sop of what are you going to write in your intro part can there be an sop of what are you going to write in your body part and in your conclusion part yes if you develop an sop here only then you will definitely going to have confidence in the answer writing at the same time you would spend a less amount of time on each and every answer because then you know what you have to answer what questions you have to answer in a certain paragraph so let's discuss about the sop of these three paragraphs first intro whenever you come across any question your intro should answer two basic question what and why okay for example in global financial crisis there is a question on global financial crisis and you have to write the intro so in the intro you would write what was the global financial crisis and why did it happen but again focus on the word limit you cannot exceed your paragraph beyond 3 to 4 lines so the reasons of the financial crisis at the same time the definition of the financial crisis should be summarized within 3 to 4 lines that should be your intro now comes your body part in your body you should have multi dimensional answer the body of your answer should reflect multi dimensionality of your thought process i hope that now you are getting my point suppose the global financial crisis is the question now here you will you will tell that what are the uh, multiple dimensions in which the global ma- financial crisis hit the world economy okay in the finance field in different fields okay be it social be it political or be it economical basically okay so what are the multiple dimensions so if you keep multiple dimensions in your mind whenever you are writing an answer then definitely you are going to get uh, get an upper hand over others obviously okay now what kind of multiple dimensions usually we take up pestel analysis for writing any kind of answer pestel stands for political economic social legal uh sorry technological uh, then you have environmental and legal so this is your pestel analysis so think from that perspective that there is an issue global financial crisis what was its impact on the political scenario what was its impact on the economic scenario or social scenario or rather in the finance parlance only in the finance field only or the economy field only what was its impact on the stock market what was its impact on the trade trade of the world what was its impact on the purchasing power parity of the countries and what was its impact on the gdp so this multi dimensionality would enrich your answer and would force the examiner to give you extra marks okay now comes your conclusion part now do remember that always always your conclusion should follow your main answer you cannot write anything from any anywhere in your conclusion okay suppose we are talking about the global financial crisis you have written in the intro you have written the body now in your conclusion you are going to first summarize what you have given in your intro and body and secondly you would give a way forward okay the positive approach that would give a window to the examiner to peep into your mindset okay so that should be the mindset of yours when you are writing conclusion of your answer okay so this is guys the sop that you can adopt now comes our first question that we are that we had started with that how can you write good answer now guys there are certain tips or rather i should say 10 commandments of writing the good answer so if you are religiously following these 10 commandments in my opinion uh, you can fetch good marks in the examination but again everyone has different approach everyone has different uh, methodology or thinking process okay so you can adopt whichever way is appropriate for you but developing a standard operating procedure for every answer would help you in saving a lot of your time because whenever question comes in front of you you start thinking the way in which you are going to answer the question now this thinking would be eliminated once you have a standard operating procedure for every answer right now let's discuss the 10 commandments which i have put here on this play card okay so these are the 10 commandments to write an answer or rather a good answer so here first is coherent structure now coherent structure does not only mean the paragraphs it means the content in the paragraphs so intro must have a very coherent paragraph then the body's content should follow the intro okay there should be a linkage between intro body and conclusion 
then your pointers answer should be in pointers okay it helps the examiner to understand the answer better facts and data ka aapko use karna hai as much as you can but again do not get uh, do not write too much of data into one answer only because this would undermine your thought process or uh, your writing skill i would say then again guys this is the very very big pain point so basic functional grammar okay grammar ko bilkul theek यूजेज करनी है आपको एंड स्पेलिंग एरर्स नहीं होने चाहिए ओके बिकॉज दिस इरिटेट्स दी एग्जामिनर अलॉट देन वेल डिफाइंड पैराग्राफ्स डू नॉट ट्राई टू एक्सीड वन पॉइंट डू नॉट ट्राई टू एक्सीड वन पैराग्राफ ओके राइट वॉट इज सफिशेंटली आस्ड इन दैट पॉइंट ओके वॉट इज सफिशेंट फॉर दैट पॉइंट ओनली दैट मच शुड बी रिटर्न बाई यू देन कंक्लूजन शुड फॉलो टू शुड फॉलो द मेन आंसर मल्टी डायमेंशनैलिटी शुड बी देयर इन योर आंसर्स this guys the next point is the most important point recognize the demand of the question okay what the question is asking from you identify the keywords identify the directive words okay what the examiner is trying to ask from you only answer that thing okay do not try to answer everything or put everything that you have read into one question then use academic word using academic words would give you an edge over the others and it will also help the examiner in identifying the memory of yours as well as the processing power of your basically how much can you memorize and how can, well can you put that memory into practice while writing the answer so both of these will be checked with the usage of academic words then pay attention to the word limit this is the last commandment guys don't exceed your word limit okay because if you do that then obviously you are going to uh, basically uh, attract a penalty i would say uh, because the examiner would get irritated and then that that would be a penalty for you all okay there are some times when you are not able to fulfill the word limit suppose your answer is completed in 400 to 450 words and the word limit is 600 then what are you going to do try to stretch it a bit so that 600 words are completed at least okay उससे कम लिखेंगे तो ऑब्वियसली यू हैव चांसेस ऑफ डिडक्शन ऑफ मार्क्स ओके सो डोंट डू दैट एंड हियर आई होप दैट आई हैव आंसर्ड योर क्वेरीज और द सोल्यूशन टू द आंसर राइटिंग प्रॉब्लम इज देयर गिवन बाय मी इन दिस वीडियो सो इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो देन आई होप दैट यू वुड फॉलो द टेन कमांडमेंट्स दैट आई हैव गिवन टू यू ऑल प्लीज गाइज टेक अ स्क्रीन शॉट ऑफ दैट एंड ट्राई टू फॉलो दैट ट्राई टू अडॉप्ट एन एस ओ पी फॉर योर आंसर्स दिस इज डेफिनेटली गोइंग टू सेव योर टाइम ऑन दैट नोट आई एम गोइंग टू से गुड बाय टू यू ऑल प्रैक्टिस हार्ड फॉर द एग्जामिनेशन एंड वेट ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स हु आर अपियरिंग फॉर द नेक्स्ट ईयर फॉर दैम guys if you don't take uh, the test on a daily basis then also it is good for you okay you don't have to do that you can select one day of your week and start practicing your answer writing okay one paper in one week would suffice your preparation because you are appearing for the next year so that was all for today i hope that you have enjoyed this video uh, thank you so much guys bye bye take care